Hello and welcome back to Live Laugh Stuck. This is it. This is the final one. I swear to God it's the final one. It better fucking be the final one. Of the ship tier, which we're having fun making. Thank you so much for enjoying <laughs> it with us. <laughs> uh, people have already threatened to send in more ship names that we've missed, so we'll have to oh, good. this episode. So, um, in the next five years, you can expect that. You know, this was for the five-year anniversary and my 100 episodes. So, in five years and or uh, 200 episodes, whichever comes last, we'll look at doing this again. We'll do part <laughs> finale, part two. Yeah, um, I'm. I'm kidding. I'm making it's. It's fun. I just. I'm not. It's a lot of editing. It's not even a lot of editing. I'm just a baby. Um, but we want our Tuesdays back. Damn it. Yeah, we've been at it for a little while. We've been at yeah. it for a little while. We've been at it since before Thanksgiving. And it's uh, just after Valentine's Day. Ugh. For context. Good God. Yeah. It really oh, has yeah, because we long. did this two weeks in a row for the first time. Yeah. That's how eager we are to finish this. <laughs> um. Anyway, how are y'all? Hey. I'm doing good. Yeah. Uh, I guess you should say hey. that, like, Justin and Dami are here. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Um, It'd be wild if you didn't know that at this point to expect us. You know, people start in the middle of things that don't make sense to start in the middle of, and I think this is fine if you just watch the last epi epi ep yeah, episode for no fucking reason. Sure, you do you. So this is Dami and Justin. You figure out which. Hey, Jax, I just made a thing that you have to edit because I put spoilers on the screen on accident. I thought, what do you mean? <laughs> I mean, I cover up this part with um, my uh, logo anyway. Never mind. Yeah, I cover it up until we actually start rating it. Okay, cool. So, we see it. You don't. It Did you see it? it? Yes. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. No one saw it. <laughs> yeah, I think you you could have gotten away with it, I think. <laughs> I could have gotten away with it. If it wasn't for my pesky mentioning it out loud. If it wasn't for my own goddamn fault. <laughs> yeah. Ain't that just the way? It's my second time using this in the past 30 minutes. So, anyway, let's get on with it. Did we leave off on this ship? Or I think this is the last one? one we did. Okay, we did this one. I think, right? Fucking no, I think so, because we got mad at it for being bad. Friendship is magic. But this isn't our first bad friendship is magic ship. It's not, because we had not. one in episode two. Oh, yeah, because you just watched the episode two. That's the one. Because episode two just dropped. Yeah, it just dropped. That's so funny. That's so funny that we've been doing this for so long and episode two just dropped. <laughs> I procrastinated <laughs> editing it for so long because it should have dropped a month ago. And it didn't. I think I think we did this because this is familiar, but the next one isn't. OK, well, we did this one, so it's fine. Let's go on. Let's let's do this thing. Carcat and Gamzee as Tropic Shipping. Tropic shipping? Tropic, Tropic shipping. I don't know. My only thought is, is this connected to, what was the movie called? Tropic Thunder? But I can't imagine how it would be. I can't either. That was just like it, my first thought because it doesn't make sense. It Neither makes of them are zero sense. tropical. There's nothing tropey about them being together. F? I got it. I gotta know if there's some definition of this word that we don't know. Tropic. Like, Gamsey lives on a beach, but it's not, like, tropical and has nothing to do with Carcat. Carcat doesn't live on a beach. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, what? Hold on. I'm glad I have y'all to look at it. I don't fucking look at it. Y'all do all the work for me. I profit. I mean, I don't. I don't make a profit on this. <laughs> I really, really don't. With your help, that can change. Um, do you know how much more money I would have to have to be making a profit off of this? 
uh more than five dollars um there is a novel called the tropic of cancer that was banned oh. that was banned in america for being obscene due to language i mean that is i get that is a very niche sounding <laughs> right it's a deep cut for it's a, a deep man. cut it's also I... very car cat heavy Okay, I mean, Gamzee says Gamzee motherfucker all the time. is known for cursing. <laughs> <laughs> Gamzee is known for bad language as much as Carcat is. I guess. Motherfucker is said every other word. When I write fix with Gamzee in it, I'm like, maybe I'm using motherfucker too much. And then I read the comic and I say, no, I'm not. I'm not using it enough. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I get it. It's a deep cut. I don't think that this is, like, we it's had to F. look it up, and we I couldn't find it, Justin did. Yeah, it's it's a straight up F. Hmm. I think it, like, can it I don't release? even buy that's necessary, like, that's such a deep cut, I don't even buy it. Like, <laughs> I feel like that's just a coincidence that Justin happened to find. I think it's Maybe. just bad. Okay, fair enough. Justin? I am completely forgetting what Gamzee's sign is. Capricorn? Okay, here we go. Oh, the yeah, companion novel. The companion... Look, I don't, I don't know astrology Why don't like, you at know? All. You're a homosuck fan. You get better. Get good. <laughs> Learn Did your you shit. you just say I'm a homosuck fan? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's not what I said, but you are. <laughs> I am. <laughs> okay there is a companion volume <laughs> to the tropic of cancer called the tropic of capricorn this is so bad whoever <laughs> how did this ship get on the list of ships that's my question other this dumb is ones so i get unbelievably obscure <laughs> this had to have I... been on like a massive list of ships that they were just like pairing everyone together i don't know what who? How did it get on? I only found like what <laughs> two or three sources for ship lists. I, it's not, I, I'm just the more baffled. you rail against this, the more I up my rating. <laughs> Listen, me railing against this is in character for this ship. <laughs> I, I, I. Think I'm sorry. I was... You're the Gamzy of this ship now. <laughs> Fuck. All right. <laughs> <laughs> now look i was all up and with you on how motherfucking bad this was but like then you just kept going all on about it and shit and like motherfucker now i think this is at least a c you're a fucking bastard is what you are <laughs> <laughs> i don't... <laughs> i I'm so mad at this shit. Here's the name. thing. I'm Here's so thing. mad it got on a list. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I also want to give it like a low C because it's bad. It's bad, but I appreciate an obscure cut. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My point exactly. We have not appreciated it throughout the rest of this fucking <laughs> Enterprise? <laughs> and when have you ever been consistent? Never. And I never My point will be. Exactly. Which means it's okay. completely fine to be inconsistently mad about this inconsistency. <laughs> Do you want to know how inconsistent we are? Yeah. At the beginning of episode two, we started on the same ship as we ended episode one on. And we said, for I said, for consistency's sake, just to see how far off we are, what do you rate this? And we rated it differently. We rated it a whole letter grade higher the second time around. <laughs> nice. We're more forgiving at the start of the episode than the end. I don't know. Yeah. By the end, yeah, we're jaded. that's probably right. Anyway, I think this is a C. 
I think it's a pretty low C. I think y'all can go fuck yourselves, but I clearly don't have a say and I'm just making it worse. Yes, you are. But I also edit these. I'd love to be able to fuck myself, just for the record. <laughs> Get good. I don't know. <laughs> like, specifically with your own dick? I mean... Yeah. Yeah. Probably with the help of portals, because any sort of contortion work feels, uh distracting in the like five <laughs> seconds that i was gone <laughs> what the hell happened <laughs> but like with portals if you thrust forward you're thrusting away from yourself that's why you move the portals listen you just gotta be like um fucking uh uh what the fuck is the name of the main guy from the fantastic four Mr. Fantastic? You know what? I was going to say that, but that sounded so dumb (laughs) that I'm like... It's just that way. Yeah. Well, anyway, you got to be that dumbass, and then you can do it. That's cheating. How is that more cheating than... Okay, Tropic Shipping gets a C because Jax didn't vote. (laughs) I voted F! I've been running F this whole time. John and Roxy as breathalyzer. A. Yeah. It's it's, it's pre- classic. It, it's pretty it's good. It's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Breathalyzer gets an A. Easy. Easy A, one might say. Cankry and Latula as social justice. I thought you said a Hank Green for a second instead of King Green. <laughs> Shit. How do you say his name? No, like, I say it the same way. I just heard Hank Green. <laughs> That's very funny. Yeah. Horrible. I mean, he would still put the social in social justice. It's true. Gonna write a um, fic with my secret RPF rare pair, Hank Green and Latula. That <laughs> you don't get to just say her first name, Hank Green and Latula Pyro. I think I do. Okay. Do you know how many Hanks there are? I guess that's a good point. Anyway, uh, what the fuck's up with the ship name? I mean, what is it? It's class, uh, not classic, but it's like it's very self-explanatory. It is um, pretty self-explanatory. Yeah, but how do we feel about? Hmm. Maybe a C, Uh, because Latula isn't as much about justice as... Yeah, she's really not. Yeah, now that I think about it. Yeah, now this would have been good with Terezi. Right. Because Latula's not about justice, like, at all. No. She's just rad. No, this... (laughs) Rad feminism. Um, Yeah, that's That's fucking Purim and Latula's ship name. Yes. I'm so sorry. No, congratulations. You're right. Poor Emma I hate Tula it. is radical feminism. <laughs> like, that's just correct. I've that's actually so unironically seen that ship name before. I haven't, and I don't want to, and I'm afraid <laughs> I will. <laughs> but it's like not that kind of radical feminism. It's what you think when you hear the name radical feminism for the first time. Yeah, right? <laughs> right. 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 <laughs> but um especially like with the time it was like started i don't know um anyway this should be cankry with either um terezi or uh uh red glare yes hard agree. yeah f for being the wrong people yeah i think yeah. we gotta give it an f yeah there's no justice in this ship you get to know <laughs> Uh, see, now here's a ship with actual justice in it. Terezi and Gamzee as Juggalo Justice. Is that a thing? I, let me find out. Not as far as I'm aware, and they do, like, ICP does reference the things that go on in their fandom and their songs pretty frequently, but 
you know, that doesn't mean they reference everything. Yeah. To be clear, I ask Dami about this stuff all the time, not not just because um, she knows more about ICP than I do, but also, if you haven't seen her icon on anything, it is Juggalo Ardata. Yeah. Yeah. No, absolutely. <laughs> the people just have got to know. Juggalo Ardata with a clown nose and a bottle of Fago. So it looks like it is a phrase that is like out in the wild kind of yeah. generally. But yeah. like, I don't know that it's like a specific thing. It's it, it just doesn't... a convenient bit of uh, uh, alliteration. Yeah, I I don't see it belonging to any like one specific instance. See, I'm I'm comfortable with that. Okay, like I don't hate it. It is correct. Yeah, yeah, it comes it's fine. from something ish, but it doesn't come from enough something to get any higher than that. Yeah, yeah, but it's not just like smushing two things together completely mm-hmm. yeah it's a uh, bare sure, minimum Juggalo... achieved Ch- Chuglo justice gets a c passing grade car cat and dave as movie night with a k not to make this i mean okay so I was going to say John should be in here, but the fact that they're both knights, I think, makes it fine without John. Yeah. Or Jake. Yeah. Um, I So I was about to say, and then I interrupted myself, and I said it anyway. Um, I mean, I think it's at least a B. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go, I'll go with B. It's, again, one I'm not particularly attached to, but, like, I see it. Yeah. I, I see them I... having movie night a lot. Yeah, and I I like a good pun. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, movie night gets a B. Aradia and Carcat as Red Dead Redemption. Are either of them cowboys? (laughs) I don't think so. Um, Okay, so they're both red. Yeah. She was dead. Is he redemption? Is that what this is supposed to be? Uh, uh, that doesn't feel right. No, yeah. but like it, like the way you say it is also the way my brain went. But no. Yeah. Like you got neither half of them of the way get there. redeemed. They don't really. Yeah. Like, all of the Carcat, all of the things Carcat feels like he fucked up was either Vriska's fault or bigger, just narrative foils of being part of Esperb. Yeah. Yeah. And Aradia has done nothing wrong in her life. And pretty critically, the one character who Carcat was, like, supposed to redeem did not actually take that to heart. Yeah. Um. D or an F? D, it's not. I don't know. I'll give it D because I do think Karkat gets kind of close to redemption with all of the, like, Jesus metaphor and whatever. But, yeah. But, like, it's not yeah. actively there in a way that gets it higher for me. Yeah, he just doesn't do redeeming and he isn't redeeming. He just has other narrative use i don't know yeah it's a d red dead redemption's a d mm-hmm. and we have bro and grandpa as foxy grandpa is bro associated with foxes in the fandom no. i don't i don't think so not really um this is the 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 vibe here is literally just a descriptor that bro would use for grandpa i think god yeah. sorry i'm just thinking of there's this one comic i ever blogged recently that's a bro and grandpa 
ship and it's so fucking good people who are it's, into this ship are so good They're it's insane. a good ship yeah i am gonna give the name an f though yeah that's yeah, what i was about to say i, agree. I doesn't don't get have any yeah. doesn't like have any if it. if bro was like fox coded in some way but he's not he's not or grandpa coded i take that too yeah <laughs> Yeah, Foxy Grandpa's an F. Kanaya and Terezi as Seesaw. This is dumb. This is really I like dumb. it, though. This is incredibly dumb, but it makes me smile in oh. a dumb way. Yeah. You can hear me smiling. I know you can, and I hate that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I... B... B fine against my better judgment what yeah. is your better judgment Ugh. she doesn't have one she's posturing <laughs> and what makes it better <laughs> you know what shit i guess you got a good point <laughs> no really what do you think i uh... where you at I know I just said I liked I liked a good pun, but this is not a good pun. Uh, but it's not. You like it's a r- bad it's... pun. <laughs> it's it's a bad pun that like is. I'll grant that the incredibly shitty wordplay does elevate it above. She was blank. She was blank. Right. Yeah. But that is what it is at its core, and also it's not. It Can I? It's not even a song. Any... Ugh. You're right. I mean, I but guess chainsaw, she... but you know, I don't yeah. Know, but but I think by that I think logic, of... Terezi doesn't see either. <laughs> she does technically. Um... That is a plot point. <laughs> she both see and she saw. <laughs> <laughs> so a B? Yeah, Is that what you B. said? You, yeah, that's what I you said. said you rate it. I saw would, it gets a B. In my heart, this should be like a D or an F, but it's a B no. and I can't deny it. <laughs> Dave and Terezi as Just In Time. So this is that uh, movie with Justin Timberlake and it's a play on the name Justin. So Dave's secret name is Justin. There's a there's a, a Canadian children's program called Just in Time. People love this fucking pun, and it's there's not also, a pun in this. But there's there's also something that must be noted, which yeah. is that you know she is just she is in time. Ah, Terezi Tops. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Absolutely. If, if this is the ship name. Terezi Tops. Terezi Tops. Uh, okay, well, this bumped, that bumped it up a lot. Uh, 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 B for Terezi Topping. <laughs> yeah, I actually quite like it. I also would say a B, perhaps even an A. Yeah. What if, what if I were to add a, another layer onto this that's personal, just for me? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. My name is Justin. Are you in time? Are you also pegging, Dave? No. (laughs) No. (laughs) You are Dave. You are fucking yourself. My middle name is David. Oh my god. No wonder you're such a Dave Kinney. So. That's not the reason. (laughs) Anyway. Like a B? Like an A? I think it's a B. 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 Okay. Just in time gets a B. Carcat and Dave as knightsmanship. F. It's dumb. F. I don't like it. Because they're, they're knights and they're men and we're shipping them. Do you get it? Do you get it? It's clunky. It's, it's bad. bad. It's bad. It's very bad. This is an F. Knightsmanship gets an F. Uh, Aradia and Solix as Raspberry Lemonade. 
F. Also an F. Just a food. Yeah. Yeah. Just food. Get it out I'm tired. Of tired of so many lemonades. Yeah. Jake and Dirk as Ireland. <laughs> this is a funny color one, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> you think it's funny? Yeah, I think this it's a is col- great. <laughs> it's a color one, yeah. I mean, I know it's a color one. It's the funny part of it I had an issue with. <laughs> yeah, no, I think something about this is incredibly funny. Jax, hold on. I want I want you to say this ship. Pretend that you were the one announcing this. Jake and Dirk are Ireland. Is that not a fun sentence to say? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> also, 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 also. I feel like this must be said right because everybody's got their like dumb British Jake voice. Even I've been known to do it at one point in time, right? Okay, but yeah. like that feels if like an really, understatement. If you're really galaxy brained, you should you should consider the Irish Jake. He doesn't say cunt enough. Yeah, but, mm, you're right. <laughs> but that's because he's too busy finding stupider ways to say things. <laughs> That is the English way. Um, no, I also, don't accept that it, headcanon. Isn't it a Scottish stereotype to say cunt all the time? I think it's both. Okay, I, I specifically enough. remember I think people it's... talking about being bars in Dublin and people calling them cunt for funsies. Mm. It's also Australian. I was going to say it's Australian, yeah. It's Australian as well. Fair enough. Look, I'm not saying it deserves above a C. But I am yeah, saying that you are saying it deserves a C. Yeah. D? Yeah, yeah. Because it's 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 just it's just the flag. That's it. Yeah. Because even if we go with Irish Jake, which we're not, what's that got to do with <laughs> Dirk besides the color? Nah, you got a good point. Okay. Actually. Are you going with an if... Irish Dirk headcanon now? <laughs> no, 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 no. Let's let let me see if this has any legs, okay? No. What if it's not Ireland? <laughs> what, what if it's Ireland? What if it's Ireland? It's super yes. not that. Is that, that anything? Also, no, it's not. Okay. Not Who here is two. angry? Huh? Who here is angry? I mean, they get into a, a like Dirk a little bit when they break up ish. Uh, but no. Yeah. Yeah, I can't right. in good conscience go with that. I was I was stretching. I didn't know. I just wanted to see if it sparked anything in your brains. It's worth stretching. I'm being a bully. <laughs> D? Why? D. Okay, yeah, D. Sometimes Ireland you need gets... to be a heel. Dirk taught Fair. me that. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Ireland Dirk. gets a D. Oh, Dirk is Dirk's wrestler persona. You're so right. <laughs> Dirk would be a huge wrestling fan. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Jake and Dirk as Pumpkin. F. This one sucks. F, absolutely. Stop doing food ones. F. I love pumpkins. Do it for something better. Stop doing pumpkins, pumpkin for, in particular for characters that don't involve pumpkins. Yeah. Well, hold on, wait a minute. Jake has there pumpkins Jake on his island. Pumpkin. Dirk there has nothing to do with pumpkins. Any pumpkins in Homestuck? At all? I'm, you know what? That's I'm a good point. This. I forgot about that. <laughs> I'm not doing this. <laughs> I'm. I'm not doing this. I refuse to acknowledge <laughs> the thing you're doing. Uh, I'm too much of a pumpkin lover to even pretend. Pumpkin? So, what pumpkin? The one on my arm. <laughs> <laughs> Good God. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I don't know what's in me today. 
It's because this is my weedings, uh, weedings, my meetings week. I've had two meetings today. John and Equius as Air Force One. Air with an H, like the class. Do you get it? Is it funny? It's not. I just... I mean, I guess John flies. And like, but... Force? Strong? Oh, you're yeah. right. Yeah. yeah. I. This is a lot of pieces that are... Being forced puzzle together? Pieces that don't... It's puzzle pieces that don't go together and somebody just, like, put them and then slammed their fist on top of it. Yeah, um, I'm gonna go with a D. D, yeah. Yeah, I'm comfortable with that. Yes, D. Air Force One gets a D. Tavros and Carcat as chocolate cherries. Bad. F. Please, get it out Bad. It's awful. Yeah, F. I agree. I just want chocolate cherries now, which is was my hesitation. Gross. F. I'm Cherries are gross. Of, I'm just thinking of uh, uh, cherry cordials or cordial cherries or whatever order that is in. Co- they're called cordial bads. Well, <laughs> there's no accounting for taste. <laughs> Solix and <laughs> Solix and Roxy as Long Island iced bees. <laughs> That's very funny. It's incredibly dumb, but I love it. I love it a lot. (laughs) Jax, how do you feel about this? I like how you couldn't finish saying that (laughs) for a hot second. (laughs) It's so good. I heard, I was, at first I saw it and I was rolling my eyes and then I heard Justin laughing about it. And I had to give it up because it is it is pretty funny, actually. <laughs> Bees? <laughs> Can we just put this in a beat where it belongs and yeah. move on? Where this is an S. I don't know what you're talking about. No, it's a B. You're right. This belongs <laughs> in B. This might belong in A. But it belongs in B. Long yeah. Island Ice Bees gets a Bees. This ship name would be sad if we put it in A. Yeah. I guess. It <laughs> pushed, it, like, the whole thing was to insert bees into this name where it didn't make sense. <laughs> so it's a B. Okay. Am I allowed to say this one? <laughs> Why wouldn't you be? I don't know. Carcat and Dave as that time of the month. <laughs> it's bad. Demonstration it's an ex, right? Brothers. It's awful. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. It's bad. Um, is it because they're trans? Look, I validate you if you think that. <laughs> but I think that it's still an F. <laughs> oh, it's I... an F. It's so bad. Sure. This this is an F. And also an F if they're trans. It's fine. But I want to note that there are two different Fs. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jake and Dirk as Pumpkin Patch. We've F. already covered this. F. 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 Pumpkin Patch gets an F. Dave and Gamzee as Knight of Honks. Who? You want to try that again? Who did I say? I you said, said Dave Carcat. <laughs> you said Carcat and Gamsley as Knight of Honks. I mean, I guess you know Dave's also a knight, so shit. You're right. <laughs> okay, what is this? Is this a thing? No, it's not. It's not. I mean, it's a lot of things. Knight of X is a lot of things, and they just replaced it with Honks. But I can't think of anything that like rhymes with Honks. Or starts with an H off the top of my head. Is it night without a K? Yeah, that's my thought, but I didn't right. find anything when Googling it. Uh, then it's an F. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a big F. Yeah, Night of Honks gets an F. Terezi and Gamzee as Tainted Justice. 
Once I ran to you. Oh. Is it a song? Nah, well, not Justice. Tainted Love is a song. Oh, okay. Uh, it's an F. Yeah, I think this is also an F. Yeah, yeah, F. Jake and Dirk as Pistol Pony Rodeo. I know what those words are individually. <laughs> I don't think they mean anything together. I don't think they mean anything together. I guess a, a pony rodeo might be a thing for, like, children's parties. Yeah, but do you bring guns to a children's party? Uh, where I grew up, you do. What? Don't answer that 50% of the United States. Yeah, yes. I mean, yeah, you give guns at children's birthday parties. I need you all to know this. Hold on. I looked up, and I know this is certainly because of just my particular Google algorithm, right? But the first... That's about to reveal a lot about you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The first thing that comes up when I Google Pistol Pony Rodeo is a Dirk Jake themed tea. Yeah, that does <laughs> reveal a lot about you. That is Wait. for you and you alone. You are the only one that is marketed to. <laughs> What's in it? Uh yeah, let me let me take a look at this. Uh So Orange, okay, the first thing I see is the, the first thing I see powder? is the tea. Hold, yeah, hold okay. up. Okay. Let let's let I I didn't hear the ingredients. I need Okay. That. Full list of ingredients. You got some honey bush tea in here. Classic. Uh you got some orange. You got yeah. some rose hips. I do like a tea with rose hips. You got hibiscus. You got vanilla. You got natural orange flavor. And you've got gunpowder, which is apparently a blend of green tea. Not gonna lie, I would drink that. Yeah, it sounds dope, actually. Like the orange and hibiscus and everything, and I like green tea. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of good stuff in here, actually. Yeah. Maybe I have to get my hands on some pistol pony rodeo tea, actually. Please do. I think that's. <laughs> a thing you have to do now. I think this is mandatory for you personally. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> uh, uh anyway, besides that. Um yeah, no, it, like literally everything that comes up on Google about this is just uh is just like Dirk Jake shit. Oh. Like apparently this is connected enough to Dirk Jake that it comes up when I Google like, they come up when I Google it. Well, uh, yeah. Dirk Jakers are wrong again. It's an F. Well, <laughs> sort of. So, like, when you Google it, you get, what, six or seven Dirk Jake results, and then, a bunch of, and then a bunch of horses and a bunch of guns. Yeah, that's fair. Well, Dirk Jakers are wrong again. It's an F. I... Or are we doing D for T? <laughs> no, I I think I think it's an F. Yeah, it's it's easily an F. Cool. Pistol Pony Rodeo. Three words that I never thought I would see together get an F. I would be like I'm fine seeing them together. It's just right next to each other that's the issue. It I want to I want to be clear here. Pistol Pony Rodeo the ship name gets an F, but Pistol Pony Rodeo the T Gets a preliminary A. Preliminary. Yeah. Could still be shit. Pending review. I'm going to bring you all in for an episode just to review the tea. I... Okay. The next time we meet up, <laughs> Dami has to have I... the tea. You know what? Hold on. Saying, let me, if let we me all work. share it, I will not like the tea. I can guarantee you. Guarantee? I heard it as soon okay. as it left my mouth. <laughs> You don't have to do that. Well, hey, I heard it. Hey, actually. Hey, actually, Jax, I want to pitch something to you. Okay. All right. Because because uh, here's the thing. The reason this tea comes up, right, is this company, Adagio Teas. It's like, it's like, it's, it's like, uh, it's like a, it's like a red bubble, but for your tea blends, right? Oh. 
Hmm. So, uh, there's actually, like, a not, like, you can find other Homestuck tea blends on this website that people have just made. So, we could do an episode of your show that's just us trying and reviewing a bunch of random Homestuck teas. Justin, they all yeah. taste like hot leaf water. They're all tea is bad to my mouth. Fair enough. Uh, yeah, no, that, that's potentially cool. Okay. I will start, uh, keeping an eye out on this website for Homestuck Tea Blends. Uh, okay. Jade and Carcat as fuck asses fucking. Um, I mean, it's an A, right? Yeah. Fuck ass is the thing people think Carcat says. Fuck ass is the thing that Jade actually says. Yeah. And they fuck. And they fuck. I like it. A. A. Okay. I'll acquiesce to that. I don't, I, again, didn't really have strong feelings on it. Fuck ass is fucking gets a fucking A. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, real quick. The, f- the fucking thing just reminds me, I've been watching Supernatural, and at one point, I they so clearly want Dean to say fan-fucking-tastic, but they can't, because it's the CW, so he says fan-damn-tastic, and I kind of love it, and it's kind of terrible. Yeah, that sucks. And that's just it, I was just thinking about the word fucking. Fan-damn-tastic. That's really funny. Yeah, it's just so obvious they wanted to say fucking. Sorry. Okay, you're good. Carcat and Aridan as the Prince's Knight. No. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with no. Yeah, it's a pretty hard F. Yeah. Yeah, the Prince's Knight gets an F. Kanaya and Terezi as Fashion Police. A. A, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, A. They they would do this, too. Oh, absolutely. Them they rolling so up would. on people. Terezi just making up shit because she doesn't actually know what anyone's wearing. Yeah. Yeah, like, Terezi... And also, she has that. terrible fashion sense anyway. If she could see... Yeah. She would have the worst they, fashion sense. <laughs> so, here's what happens, right? These two roll up on you, right? And Terezi's all like, Oh, hey, that... You can't be seen wearing that. And then she holds up the most god-awful thing that you've seen in the world. And Kanaya's like, oh, yes, dear, here. And then holds up something that actually looks good. And then Terezi snickers and puts away whatever she was holding. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Absolutely. (laughs) Yeah, Fashion Um, Police gets an A. Yeah. Uh, Carcat and Gamzee as Red Pop. F. What even is this? Oh, this is a Fago flavor. Oh, okay. It's a it's a pretty notable Fago flavor. Isn't it the one in the comic? Like the one that uh Aridin drinks? It is the one that Aridin drinks. Why is Aridin not here? Because <laughs> he's not red. C uh, D Ah. Uh... Yeah, I don't feel great love for this. I think that it's better than most food names. But, yeah, I don't get it above, like, a D. Fair enough. Okay. I'm fine with D. I don't care that much. Red Pop gets a D. I do want to go buy some Fago. Roxy and Dirk as My Little Brony. My Little Brony. Where's, Where's the Roxy in this name? Because this is all, this is all Dirk. It is right? all Dirk. That's right. You're right. F for yeah. only being about Dirk, which makes it an AM right now. Um, F F for Dirk. Hey now. Hey. <laughs> hey now. <laughs> I'm not good that far. Fine. It'd be a D for Dirk. Dirk Dirk can have a D as a treat. 
That's right, he can. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is an F. My Little Brony's an F. Yeah. All right. We've got Vriska and Equius as blue, but it's like a combination of their quirks, such that it has Equius's dumb little 100 way that he says blue and an 8 for the B like Vriska does. This is one that really works if you can see it. Yeah. It's, it's 8,100. Yeah. Um, or blue. I've, I've, I have two things to say. One, it appears there is no Fago in my immediate vicinity, which is sad. For two... You have to go to Lawrence. I don't think I should have to drive all the way to the soda store in order to get Fago. Yeah. Yeah, it's unfortunate. I The the dollars... The, the, the grocery store around the corner uh, from where we used to live uh, does have Fago. At it, yeah, but there's not many flavors. Yeah, but at least it had some. It had some I actually have some soda. in the fridge right now. Well, go fuck off, I guess. Okay. Um, but for two, uh, I think this is almost as iconic as Neighbors. It's just like a step below. But I did forget about it until I saw it. I this is very clever. Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah. Even if it is strictly visual. <laughs> It, yeah. It's pretty it's pretty visual, yeah. But I do think that something that should be, you know, reckoned with is the fact that like if these work visually, that's better than if they work out loud because they are intended to be used on the internet mostly. Yeah. Right? And it is specifically using their typing quirks, so that's yeah. what right. it is. Uh yeah, I mean to me this is like an A or an S. An S. I just think it works really, really well. Yeah, the only fair. thing the only thing keeping this out of S is accessibility. Anybody who needs a screen reader is gonna be fucked. Yeah. I mean that's that... if you read Homestuck and you need a screen reader, you're kinda fucked. I don't know. Yeah. But I am fine with it getting an A. Like it's to me it's not as good as neighbors, yeah. but it's still very good. Yeah. I, I yeah. it's it's really good. I Blue like an A. Or 8,100 gets an A. 8,100. Anyway, Solix and Equius as biceps. A. B? Yeah. I, yeah, I'm, I'm inclined to do B. I guess. But I do like it. It's pretty, I like it. It's, it's, yeah. It's, it's strong. Uh, they're both bisexual. Uh, Solix's thing is two. He has a a a a, a biclops for a dad, but I'm fine with B. And Equius has sepsis. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. There's something wrong with all of us today. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> it's because we know this is the last one. This is the final hurrah. And we'll never talk again. We'll never talk again. Not for a month. We're not going to have our uh, um, our Tuesday hangouts for like a month. Yeah. Yeah, that is rough. Biceps gets, an, gets a B. Roxy and Dirk as cat in the hat. It's just their shirts. The cat is in the hat. I mean, it's more than just their shirts. I mean, they're they're also about cats and hats. Is Dirk about hats? <laughs> I don't think Dirk's about hats. You're right. I said that, and then I immediately disagreed with myself. It's it's a this is a D at best. Fine. Yeah, yeah. The bottom puns can only get you so far. Yeah. This isn't even really a pun. Okay, bottom jokes. I mean, you're we're making it into bottom jokes. Fuck. I feel like with a ship name, that's gotta be part of it. I don't think so. Cat in the Hat gets a D. Okay, yep. <laughs> Someone gets the D. Dave and Jade. 
as bitch in heat. This is bad. This is really bad. I yeah. I don't know that I like this one. This is this one's uncomfortable. This does it for someone, and that's fair. It does it for someone. Maybe one third of the people. Maybe there are three people in a group. Look, that's um, allowed. You can pick out one third of them and like one of them out of the three. I'm willing to acknowledge the cleverness of this. And if you're doing it in a like very particular sort of scenario, I can vibe with that. But I think that like what I I think the reason that I rate this lowly is because this is one of those compelling fanfic titles that is not, but it's not a shit name, right? And we don't care about bottom puns anymore? This is a ship name, but only for an ABO ship. I mean, usually an ABO, Dave's the one that's the O. I don't know what any of those letters mean. How do you not? <laughs> like... I know Dave's what the, the O the, and Jade's the A, and that's all you need to know. <laughs> I know, like the concept of ABO is something like animalistic and feral, but that's about as far as my knowledge goes. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I want to explain Omega anyway. Force to you so hard. <laughs> Do not explain so Omega Force to me. Why? Uh, <laughs> Jax, calm down. <laughs> I'm calm. I'm okay. I'm okay. Next time on Live Laugh Stuck, Jax comes to my house, ties me down, and forces me to listen to oh what Omegaverse God. means. Um, that would be a bonus. You gotta pay for that content. I am paying for that content. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> this is an Ugh. F, right? I think that it can accomplish a, a D, but I, I I stand by my take that it's like this. This is for the the particular spicy fan fiction about these two characters. Not really a shit thing for them. Yeah. Jax, where you, where's your head at? I'm sitting this one out, my dude. You're allowed <laughs> to disagree with us. Do you I, rate it O? <laughs> I can get behind an O rating. That'd be very fun. <laughs> um, say it. <laughs> say what you're going to say. I just, I just don't know. I feel like I'm just outing myself too much with this whole thing. Okay, fair enough. We can... I feel like this would be like a different spicy episode where we get into exactly why Jax likes the ship name Bitch and Heat. You know, fair enough. If you don't <laughs> want to get into it, we don't gotta get into it. Yeah, uh, we don't gotta get into it. That is the whole fine. point of this series that we're doing, but we don't gotta. Okay. Um, <laughs> you know, it's... I just... Um, we can stick with F. That's fine. Oh, I thought we were going with O. We can go with O if you will let me explain Omega. Whoa. Bitchin' Heat gets an F. <laughs> <laughs> I can't have a half-hearted O. If we're going to go O, you have to understand. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on a minute. Have we We've not done this before. one yet? No, we haven't. So, I know what the difference is. We have Tavros and we have Gamzee as PB and J. And we've done Peanut Butter and Jelly, but we no. haven't done PB and J. No. No. No, we haven't done Peanut Butter and Jelly. We've done Peanut we Butter and Jelly Time. We've done uh, Lunch Time, which is PB and J and Milk. And we have done not done Peanut Butter done, and Jelly. We've done PB and J too. Yes. Huh. We haven't done this one. We've done every other version besides this one. This is such a classic ship name for them, and it's been ruined by everything. Yeah. It has been ruined. Not that it was great to begin with, but it's just bad. It's, like, worse than it ever could have been. Yeah. So it's an F. F. 
Yeah. He gets a turbo F for being the cause of so much pain. <laughs> PB and J gets a turbo F. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that's going to mean for my editing, but it means it just has to like zoom across the screen like a race car. Again? Uh, you say again, but this time there's two of them. This is not Foxy Grandpa. It's Foxy Oldies. Why Foxy? Let me let me get this out of the way. Uh, Grandma or er, Nana, Nana and Grandpa. As Foxy oldies, it's Foxy because they're 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 they're, they're getting it on. <laughs> but yeah. it's just like, why was it Foxy Grandpa and now Foxy oldies? Like it's dumb. So it this is a for, like Foxy Grandpa is Foxy is used is a term used for older people who are still sexually active. Really, I mean, I knew Foxy was like. I don't know, Foxy, but I didn't realize it was specifically about old people like Cougar. It, it sort it's, it's not specifically about old people, but it's an old term. So it's generally applied to people who are old enough to have used the term. The thing is, is these two have like, like, better maybe not better ship names, but like. There's better concepts for Nana and Grandpa. Like, they're canonically star-crossed lovers. Wait, huh? Yeah, Nana talks about it in her explanation to John about how she grew up and how, like, uh, the Condes, uh, I, like, she and, uh, and, uh, Grandpa Harley were supposed to, like, get together. Like, they were destined to be together. Um, huh. But then he ran away and she right. never saw him again and she found someone else and had one of the two biological children in Homestuck. Yeah, yeah. You know, I've seen so much ship discourse that I just assumed that they had a sibling relationship. They I do. They did. That's the thing <laughs> is in that same conversation, she talks about them being siblings and then later finding out they were supposed to be lovers. Discord huh. is censoring you. <laughs> it is. <laughs> um, yeah, no, this is another canonical incest ship, except they never ended up being together. They were just supposed to be. Fascinating. Yeah, no, people don't fucking talk about it because it's in a, a long-winded conversation about Nana talking about her life with the Condes and no one gave a shit because this was like Act 4 or something. Yeah, nobody gives a shit about Beta Jane, because nobody gives a shit about Jane. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, he's like, nobody gives a shit about Alpha Jane, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> dummy. It's just you out there. You against the world. It is. Anyway, I think this ship name at least maybe can get up to a D, because at least this, like, applies to both of these characters. As yeah. As opposed to just one, like the other one. I still think it's an F, but... I th I think it's a D sort of I don't know if you think it's an F it's an F I'm not super attached to the D <laughs> <laughs> Look don't talk to me <laughs> Don't talk to me a trans woman <laughs> About how attached you are to the D <laughs> What Foxy Oldies gets a D. <laughs> yeah, okay. okay. <laughs> Tavros and Dave as Tada? Tada! Explain to me. I don't know. Ta I just... Tavros Dave. Oh. No. <laughs> and... No. <laughs> what else could it be? Fuck. Today. 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 This is bad. I don't like it. I'm gonna be frank. Yeah, I don't... <laughs> it's an F. Yeah, F. Uh, Tada gets an F. Roxy and Dirk as Lesine. 
What? It's like that typo that Roxy makes. Like I, because it's like Lasai, but Lasai. Like, is it because she makes that typo because she's talking about how Dirk is gay and won't get with her? I would have to check if that's the case, and if it that, is, I'm like, I like it. Nine times out, out, out like I, I'm not nine times out of ten. I'm like ninety percent sure that this is like she says the sign, and he's like the sign. He's like, yeah, the sign obviously means that you're too gay to get. I don't know. You know, whenever she's talking about how into Dirk she is, and Dirk's just like, okay. Look, I'm loading up the unofficial Homestuck collection and hitting the search button right now and typing in less sign. Okay. Yeah, no, this is explicitly... This is explicitly her talking to and about Dirk. Yeah. You're right. About you got Dirk it. being too, too yep. fucking gay. I don't like it in that context. I also don't like it in that con. I don't know. That whole thing made me uncomfortable. I just, you know what? It probably wouldn't make me uncomfortable, and I probably would like it more if people didn't write off that this is the shit Roxy did and that it wasn't good. Just like they were all bad to each other, but Roxy gets so much grace when it comes to this. And Not right. in this conversation and in the next several conversations between Roxy and Dirk or, or Roxy and Hal, Dirk is just explicitly uncomfortable with it all. Yeah, no, that's fair. Like, I don't know. I'm torn because, again, I feel like. I would like it if it wasn't for, like, the fandom reaction to it. Because I like Roxy and Dirk as a ship just because, like, I like shipping things. Everyone gets shipped. Doesn't matter. Mm Mm-hmm. But, uh, not... I don't know. This context does kind of make it... It's a good pull. I like it. I'm gonna be frank. I'm gonna speak my truth and be frank and say that I like it. You're allowed. Like, I... I I get why it's a little uncomfortable, right? Yeah. But, like, A, it being a little uncomfortable is not necessarily, uh, like, that's not necessarily a reason not to ship them, if you're yeah. the right kind of person. Oh, absolutely. Um, and B, even if that's not the dynamic you're going for, it is a callback to one of them pining after the other in comic. That's true. Which I can appreciate. Right. Yeah, it is such a clear and specific callback that if you're a real Roxy head or like a real Roxy Dirk shipper, like you would know immediately. Yeah. I think it gets like at least a C. But I get if you don't like it. I'm good with a C. C for complicated, which are my feelings. Justin? Sorry, I haven't been listening because I've been thinking about which which one would be better for this name, Roxy Curlaws or Roxy Signless. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was going to be like, well, maybe we should let like the actively like gay man speak on this since it deals with, you know, but you're like, nah, I wasn't listening. I was thinking about other shit. <laughs> I was thinking not... about turning this from something meaningful into a pun name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, it's... It does very explicitly evoke these two, which is good. That's a, that's a very good quality of a ship name, objectively, I feel like. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter that it carries baggage. In fact, that probably makes it more applicable. Yeah. Thank you. So I do kind of want to give this high marks. I want to put this somewhere around a B, maybe. Oh my oh. god! Oh really? Oh yes. Can can I? Yeah. No, I'm so happy with a B. I didn't think we'd get here, folks. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I was hedging my bets. I said C. I was like, let's rein it in. These two aren't big fans. I'll take what I can get. But no, no, we got a B on like, the map. <laughs> like I'm not a fan of of this ship, but 
we're rating the name and how it relates to the two. And this, it it's very clean. Yeah, I'm good with B. Yeah. I mean, I am not a big Roxy Dirkhead either, but like, yeah, no, this is, this is good for these two. Lassian gets a B. Bro and bro, but the other one as <laughs> guardian cest. Do people really refer to Alpha Dave as bro often? I pretty much only see Alpha Dave. Me too. I see um, Alpha bro. I guess that's fair. But um, anyway, guardian cest uh, is a bad ship name because it can refer to, I mean, Foxy Grandpa could have been guardian cest. Not guardian yeah. cest. Sorry. Foxy bro or Foxy Grandpa couldn't been Guardian Cess, but like a bunch could be Guardian Cess. Yeah, I I don't disagree with that. Yeah. Yeah. Bro Cessed. That could have been the ship name. I would have liked that. I do think this is like an F. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Guardian as Cess gets an F. Me. This is just proof that like how much you like a ship doesn't matter. Tavros and Vriska as eight ball instead of eight ball. I kind of like this. Yeah, it took me a second to realize it was like eight ball. Um, I think that gets it up to like a C. Yeah, yeah. I I have inexplicable positive feelings for this one. I can say a C. It kind of it kind of works. Yeah, yeah. It's a C. Eight ball gets a C. Jane and Roxy as Betty Cocktail. I don't like it. I feel like that's their drag name. One of their <laughs> drag names. <laughs> okay. Let me... I'm gonna... I want to insert one letter. Okay? Betty Crocktail. I do like it more. Okay. I was gonna say a similar thing. But then it's not a drag name. It's, okay, here, and again, this probably just makes it a compelling fanfiction name as opposed to a ship name, right? But yeah. here, here's what it is. It's, it's not one of their drag names. It's their drag duet name, mm, where yeah, yeah, Roxy yeah. is a drag queen and Jane is a drag king. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. Interesting. But besides that, it's like, what, a D? Yeah, it's not great. Yeah, no. this isn't good. This isn't actually very good. There's ways to make it good, but it's not on its own. No. Which, like, usually... If I fuck with their gender, it's great. Just plain? Yeah. No. <laughs> Be Betty Cocktail gets a D. What does Betty Crocktail get? A D. Okay. I'm willing to raise Crocktail to a C as a ship name. That just, I don't know, it sounds like it's a, a, a crocodile version of DuckTales. <laughs> <laughs> Should we do, are we going to need to do a lightning round? Um, oh. I don't think so. Okay. Do you want to do one anyway? Because we can always, I mean... I <laughs> we always can. It. We always can, yeah. Okay, yeah. You want to start here? Sure. Carcat and Dave as one night stand. Uh, C. With a K. Uh, yeah, C. I, it's incorrect. They're not a one night stand. They're together forever. Oh, you're right. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, my bad. They start off as a one night stand. It's a meet cute. Yeah, you're <laughs> fucking is. <laughs> One Night Stand gets a C. Okay. Solux and Nepeta as RGB. C. It's C. Colors, C. but like it's it. not just like yellow. Yeah. Okay. RGB gets a C. Solux and Carcat as Knight of Bees. F. 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 Gamzy and Dave as Jam Squared. F. 
Yeah, F. Maybe D because Jan yeah, has D. a dual meeting. Yeah, no, I like the oh, dual meeting. Oh, yeah, D. okay, that's why it's square. D or even C. Yeah. Okay, I get it. Uh, D? Okay. D. D. Caliborn and Dirk as Dirku or Dirk U U. I mean F. That's basically combining their names. Yeah, yeah that's all. That's F. all it's doing. F. John and Carcat as boyfriend leaders. Oh, because they're boyfriends. Okay, I had to say it to get leaders. that in my mouth and my head. Yeah. Yeah. And they're um, both the leaders, obviously. Yeah. And John's the boy Skyler. Well, yeah, and then, like, John called himself that he's not a leader, he's more like their friend yeah. leader. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, D. yeah. Great C? lightning round, folks. Uh, C? C. C. Okay, C's fine. Dad and Mom as Margarita Cake. F. 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 Dad and Dave as Father Time. A. A. <laughs> yeah, A, okay. <laughs> Jane and Jake as English Muffin. B. C. 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 D? C. C. Because she's got Muffin Top. Because she's fat? John. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. John and Dad as Daddy Dearest. Oh, uh a. yeah a this is th an explanation i gave you in like the first episode for uh john yeah. Moses' daddy same thing yep okay a aradia and equius as pepsi cola dark f. is that a flavor f. of pepsi that came out around that time yes probably because yeah, it's like it a was. play on how john and no, dave are f. pepsi cola okay. f f f f John and Dirk as Tide Pod. A. <laughs> I like that it's a play on the fact that other ship names like this are food names. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Do you think do you think Dirk would convince John to do the Tide Pod challenge? I think Dirk would do the Tide Pod cha challenge because he's never seen laundry soap or candy. <laughs> Fuck, you're right. Dirk would do the Tide Pod challenge because he's never seen laundry soap before, and then, and then, he would not die a heroic or just death and be like, fuck. Yeah. Guess I'm never doing that again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, what are we rating this again? I think uh, it's an A. I, J Jack said A. I'm, I'm at like a B. <laughs> okay, I'm at like a, I'm at like a C, so B. B. Okay. Carcat and Dave as Red Knight District with a K. I kind of like it. I'm evaluating how much I like the pun. Right. I, <laughs> like, I don't. I don't. I'm like, or how much I, I, I like imagining them as sex workers out on the street. What were you saying, Justin? Nothing. Nothing relevant anymore. <laughs> yeah, it's a fanfic name. I'd read that fanfic. I know you would. It's not an uncommon fanfic beginning for either of these characters. C? C. C. <laughs> the mayor and PM as postal shipping. Uh, I, I have it's to give it an F. On it's principle, 2 PM, because buddy. only yeah. PM is here. Yeah. Yeah. I guess this is the end of the lightning round, by the way. Oh, okay. F. F? Okay. Yeah. Postal shipping postal shipping gets an F. Okay, now why is it the end of the lightning round? Because the next one is the last one. Ever? Oh, shit. Ever. We're at the end that's of the list. That's why you said we didn't need a lightning round, because we were. Yeah, that's that why I said close. we didn't need I said we didn't need one. You're like, but what if we do anyway? I thought that you were <laughs> optimistic. <laughs> no, no, we're at the end. The next okay. one is the last Shit. one. And it's real fucking good. Fantastic. 
All right. I don't know if it's I don't know if it's a high quality. I don't know if this is like an S this tier thing. This better be an S rank ship. <laughs> but it's good. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh wait, hold on. Nope, that wasn't the end. It's a different. Okay. okay. It's, a di it's a different black and white one. That's the end. Fucking I'm sorry. Fake out. Wow. Uh, Lightning round back on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. For hold how on, long? Hold on. Before I need to, I need to relook at this for a second. So uh, this is gonna go away. Jax, you're gonna have to cut this out. No, no. We're very close. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Lightning I mean. round off. Lightning round off. Okay. Aradia and Carcat as time of the night with a K. Mm -hmm. No, bad. F. F. Yeah, F. Remember when you were hyping this next one up so much? <laughs> okay, uh, in, in, in just a few more. Okay. Wait, what was she in this? Uh, wayward Questant? Is th it's not Wayward, it's Windswept. Windswept Questant. Wind, windswept Questant and, and the Black Queen. As my cat is in the way and I can't read it. Black and tan cocktail. That's an actual drink. There's no tan in this ship name. There is no tan in this ship name. That's true. F? F. For for both F. being a food and doing it bad? Yeah. Yeah. White Queen the White King and uh the Windswept Questa as royal shipping. This should be PM and, and White Queen. Oh, you're so right. Oh, God, yeah. So, D. D? Yeah, D. 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 White Queen, White, the White King and Windswept Questant as Reunited Lovers. For three seconds. It's true. Yeah. Uh, technically accurate. D? D. Yeah, D. D. Hearts, boxcars, and, uh, the parcel mist. Okay, hold on. No. Hearts, boxcars, and the peregrine mendicant as love letters. Uh, at least a B. It's very cute. <laughs> I can go with a B. Yeah, I'll give it a B. Okay. This is the real last one. I okay. swear this time. Okay. Okay. Oh my no. god! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, oh, okay, I've okay. Been okay. Jump scared. <laughs> so, so for, for the listener who's not watching this, this is, there's a couple of things I have to explain, not even just the ship. It is the real uh, Pupa Pan and his fangirl is the ship name. And it is Hussy and Rufio from the movie Hook. And Justin made the image so big. <laughs> like, it's, this is a format breaker. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's the name is all crammed onto the left side of the screen, and it's that frame from Homestuck where Hussey is going to kiss Rufio's corpse while he's crying, and it's just blown up and pixelated right in front of us. It, yeah. It's... <laughs> and to be clear, we didn't really describe the other images, but it was like sprite of one on one side, sprite of another on the other side, and down below was the ship name. Just very simple, elegant, mm -hmm. looked fine. This is just like jump scare, like Dominic yeah. said. You get <laughs> we jump did scare with the, this one. We did describe the format in the first episode or two, to be fair. Well, it's been a while. Yeah. Even though I just edited the second one. It's been a while. Um, the real Peepa Pan and his fangirl. Here's my reason for the jump scare. I could not find any pictures of Homestuck Rufio from Hook that were not these couple panels. That's because there are no other images of Homestuck Rufio from Hook. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. 
So I did what I had to do. Did you know that this was going to be the last one? I did not. I mean, it <laughs> makes sense since you sorted them by size and this one's so out of norm. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, I randomized I randomized this list by just right clicking and sort by size. That's hilarious. I mean, it worked. And then I went, this can't be, and then I went, this can't be the first one, so I I reversed the order. That's so funny. That's amazing. Then you knew it was last. Yeah, I did. Oh, okay. I've known I this whole time that this was last. Must have misheard you. I thought you said you didn't know it was last. Um okay, but like like so I hate to be the bearer of bad news, right? Yeah. But, but, but Rufio is not the real Pupa Pan in no. this dynamic. Hussie's wearing no. the Peter Pan clothes. And, and he's not the real one. Neither of them are the real Pupa Pan. And Hussie's also the fangirl. Yeah. One is a fangirl, neither are Pupa Pan. I'm Pupa Pan. <laughs> Okay, okay, what if this sentence is just really bad grammar? The real Pupa Pan, Hussy, and his, Rufio's, fangirl, Hussy. <laughs> <laughs> That's worse. Because then the whole name is still describing Andrew Hussy. Yeah. It's like a title. So what's missing <laughs> to make this grammatically correct is Andrew Hussy, comma. At the the real Pupa Pan and <laughs> Rufio's fangirl. <laughs> and Rufio from Hook's fangirl. Yeah. Dante Basco. Dante Basco's fangirl. Can you no, because Dante, Dante, Dante Basco was. This? Oh, Basco. Huh? He, he, was, he was Rufio. Yeah. In Let's yeah. Read Homestuck. Yeah. Because he got into this because he was in it and became yeah. a fan and became friends with Hussey. Could you imagine? I wish that I, had happened no. to everyone that got featured a lot in Homestuck. That Nick god. Cage started reading Homestuck and became friends with Hussey. Fuck. <laughs> oh my you god. Imagine? I god. I cannot wait to get to Openbound in my read through with my boyfriend so that I can tell him that Dante Bosco uh, did the voice of that character. Oh my god! Uh, we're getting to that. The next one that we're going to record is is the start of Openbound, and Moosey listens to uh, Let's Read Homestuck. Like watches Let's Read Homestuck. Excellent, excellent, I need, excellent. I need to tell them. Does Moosey let? No, don't let them find out okay. in real time. You need to... <clears throat> they take their notes live in front of you. Sometimes, not all the time. You can just watch them on the Google Doc go... Just Dante Bosco with, like, 40 question marks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that would be the note. If they notice, like, sometimes people just don't notice. Yeah. Then you can tell them on on on, on the show. Yeah. Um... Anyway, so this is a bad ship name, unfortunately, so it's like an F, right? Yeah. I mean, your presentation was golden. Don't get golden. me wrong. You set it up for success. Uh, but... Justin gets an S. The ship yeah. name gets an F. <laughs> now you have to edit onto this that Justin gets an S. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. This will be the last thing I ever fucking do. <laughs> At all? At all. <laughs> you just, we've said on the next episode like six times this time. You have to do more. <laughs> of what? Of this? No. Oh. No, no. We're, but you do have to be around to try all of my Homestuck teas. <laughs> uh, I guess. I guess I will still keep existing after I edit this. What if I just, I just wanted... never edit this until my dying moment? Like, I'm on my deathbed, <laughs> and everyone's like, hurry, get the laptop. <laughs> That'd be pretty good. Yeah. I just want to keep this screen up as long as possible. 
Yeah, well, good thing in post, I can cover it up whenever I want. <laughs> whenever I decide, it's no longer relevant. Are you sure you don't want this to be the last thing that people see after watching this entire series? But then, <laughs> I I don't know. Will I keep it up over my end credits? Because usually I put like links and stuff um, over the over the end credits. Nah, have the end credits scroll over the image so that they have to look at it in order to read the credits. That's gonna be <laughs> so hard to read. I don't have to figure. Out. <laughs> It's so bad. <laughs> I mean, like, it's good, but it's so bad. Do you understand? I Yeah, I hear you. I know. I recognize that I'm suggesting bad things. <laughs> suggesting bad things. Uh, anyway, what, uh, how do we rate, um, Homestuck ship rate, ship name rating tier? How do we rate Homestuck what? ship name rating tier? <laughs> <laughs> what are you even saying? How do you rate this project that I started? Oh, how, how do we rate this entire series as a whole? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I like hanging out with you two. S. Triple S. I also like hanging out with you two. I give it an A because it stole away my Fire Emblem tabletop time, but I did <laughs> like it a lot. I'd do it again. It would be S if we found a different day to do it on. It did keep me from Sparkles and Felix. But I also came up with it for my five-year 100-episode anniversary. I did this as a gift to you. Uh, not <laughs> you two, but like me? you, the general listener. No, I... <laughs> I joke. I give a lot no. of shit about how it stole away our D&D time for so long, but it was a great time. I loved it. It it has been I, a good time, but I also miss Sparkles and Felix. Yeah, I'm very happy that it's done now, but, you know, it was great, and, like, I wouldn't mind doing a, another episode of it at some point if we get enough names, but, like, you know, in the future. Yeah. In the future. Yeah, no, uh, S. It's been a f it's been a fun time. It's been a long time. I don't know. I feel like I had a third thing I was gonna say, and then I didn't. We were here for a good time and a long time. <laughs> Just the one pixel missing from Hussy's tear. What? Hussy. Oh my oh, God! Right. There <laughs> is what? There is a Just single one missing pixel. Pixel missing. That's really funny. Do you think it's on purpose? Who knows? I think he just went a little, a little, a little swoop up. I think he just went a little swoop down and a little swoop up. And I don't think uh, that he thought about it that much. He didn't and then think there was it a was going to be got left behind. Be blown up <laughs> on a computer screen. Yeah. Yeah. For an extended period of time. <laughs> <laughs> no one thought that. Yeah, I don't know. That's it. It's been fun. Um, I'll, I'll try to think of projects that are less... This... Uh, <laughs> but uh, it was a good time. Let me know if you guys have any project ideas. I mean, you two on the podcast, obviously. But you, the general you, the listener, the watcher. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Get into my Discord. One of my one of my supporters is like, oh yeah, I would love bonus content where you just say stuff, and then they never tell me things to say. So you have to <laughs> ask to get what you want. Just tell me, okay? Hey, get on the Discord. Say you want Jax to say things, and they'll say them, whatever they are, anything yeah. you want. I mean, as long as you're not doing a um, I forgot his fucking name again. It's a blessing and a curse. Uh, the terrible YouTuber. The terrible one who has my, my beloved name. Mr. Beast. There's nothing about Mr. Beast <laughs> that is a beloved name to me. <laughs> Mr. Beast just ruins my chocolate shopping experience. Um, PewDiePie. As long as you're not pulling a PewDiePie fucking fiver on me, I think we're good. I say things. Jax will, Jax will say that stuff for zero dollars. 
okay. <laughs> I don't think this is the right climate to be making that joke. <laughs> uh, no, I won't. Just to be clear. Just to be clear. 100%. It's bad. It's bad stuff that he did. Yeah. I still can't fucking believe that. That that people are still like, nah, he's fine. He's fine, though. <sighs> Let's not dwell on that man. Let's dwell on this image some more. Let's dwell on this image some more. Let's cleanse our palate <laughs> with the image in front of us. Um, Yeah, I don't know. Let me know projects. I have my... um. In the links, I don't talk about it as much, but I have a, a thing open where you can um, uh, submit yourself to talk about problematic faves or your uh, fan project. Um, I, some problematic faves have already been done or are uh, reserved. So you submitting doesn't mean you'll get on. Um, there's still one that I'm trying to figure out. And, um, and then also like time. I'll get to it eventually, but, uh, yeah, just submit it and we'll work something out. I feel like I should have something bigger to say at the end of this. Like it's been fucking five years. It's been a hundred <laughs> episodes and it's been several more than a hundred episodes by now. It's, it's, this is act, this is act four of episode 100. <laughs> Yeah. it's episode 100 episode 6 this is an episode 6 is it either way I, I don't know I feel like I should have oh, what? Yeah. this is the 6th one of these that we've done is it? I thought it was the 4th no Jesus Christ no. Jesus Christ Oh god, I have four more of these to edit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> um, Good luck. Yeah, I mean that'll be done by the time y'all are listening to this, obviously. Uh, I don't know. I just feel like I should have something grand to say, but it's been chill. Y'all have been chill. Uh Discord's chill. Uh it's cool to support me. I release bonus content sometimes. I'd like to release more, but capitalism's a bitch and I have to work 40 hours. You can help that not be... I mean, you can't. I mean, you could. But let's be real here. I don't know. Thanks. Thanks for playing. <laughs> get it? It's a Homestuck reference. Uh, I don't get it. Uh, Would you like you to explain to it say? to me in great detail? Yeah. I'll, I'm a Megaverse? I I no. out. Is that what we're explaining in great detail? I stopped recording. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Donnie, uh, do you have anything to say at the end of this? Not really. This was great. Uh, I had a, I had a really fun time. I'm glad we did it. Um, you have a SoundCloud? I do have a SoundCloud. I haven't posted on it in a little bit, but it does exist. Yeah, it's Domino Thief on SoundCloud. Well, you have four months to change that. That you haven't posted. Why? Is there a time limit? Uh, because this will come out in four months. Oh, shit. You're right. Um, that's fair. That's a good point. <laughs> yeah. I guess I'll start trying to see if I can get some shit up there. Yeah. I uh, did. I, I guess I did put up that Caliborn thing that I did uh, for did. the last Sockon so that I could share it with you, too. So uh, good. So if you want to go hear me do a shitty parody of uh, Blurred Lines in a Caliborn voice, uh, go go have fun with that. I feel like shitty and Caliborn voice were, like, unnecessary to have them both. In that yeah, sentence. that's a good point. <laughs> um, Justin, what you got? What I got a thousand fucking things. I do not know where I will be in four months. Bardar Cafe Network. Bard Rock yeah. Cafe network of shows. Come listen to all all of our stuff. We've got stuff, and it's all of it. Will, Actual place will... is is primarily what it is. Yeah, I mean, if if the answer is no, you can just cut this out. But do you think that maybe the thing that I will be doing for you all will be up and about at that point in time? God, I Not fucking for hope so. Five more years. That would be great. 
it took like over a year for my bonus episode to get on the podcast. Yeah, that's fair. On honestly, honestly, no. Uh, Blades in Paradise should be up and running end of March, early April. Okay. Well, then pro- go look out. Sorry. Yeah. Go check out uh, Blades in Paradise wherever you get your podcatchers. Dommy edited yeah. them. I'm I I'm looking forward to. We'll it. we'll have had edited them in the future past. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm I'm on some Bard Rock Cafe Network stuff too. I'm out there. You can find me. Just search. Just listen to all of it. And when I'm there, you'll know. Anyway, I mean, links to all that's always below forever. Um, until the heat death of the universe. So go check that out. Come to my Discord. Uh, follow my newsletter that I forgot to post this month. It's February. Shh, I forgot to post it. And I am I have a TikTok now. I've had a TikTok for four months by now. Uh, live last stuck. It's all live last stuck everywhere, baby. Live last stuck. Anyway, goodbye. I don't know how to end this. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> goodbye. Bye. Thank you to Dami for composing the theme song and editing the episode. You can find more of her work at soundcloud.com slash domino thief. Shout out to our fakest fan tier supporters, Danny the Spoon Lord and Tezrak. You can become a supporter and receive early episodes and bonus content for as little as $1 a month over at ko-fi.com slash jacksyaks or simply give a one-time tip. For information on and links to my other projects, head over to jacksyaks.com. Thanks again for listening. 